In this video, uh, let's discuss about common factors. So, what are common factors? I hope the concept of factors is clear to you because if only you are familiar with this term that factors, not only you can understand this common factors. And if you have, if you don't know what are factors, then I'll request you to please go to the playlist and watch videos on factors and multiples. Okay, that's I mean. These are the very basic terms that you should know. Well, uh, assuming that you know about factors, uh, so we can begin uh, with our discussion on um, common factors. Now, let's take two numbers. Let's take two numbers. Suppose you have um, you have number eight, and then you have number sixty. You have number 8 and you have number 16. So, what are the factors of 8? Factors, factors of, factors of 8. So, factors of 8 will be, like you can do it here. Uh, you have uh, 1 times 8 is 8, right? And you have 2 times 4 it is 8. Anything else? Or oh, four times two is eight, right? These are the only possibilities for this eight. So what are the factors? The factors is one, the factor is eight, the factor is two, and the factor is four. Right? So these are the factors for eight. So factors are one, two, 4 and 8. Now let's similarly find the factors of factors of 16. So factors of 16 will be like you have 1 times 16 is 16, then you have 2 times 8 will be 16, then you have 4 times 4 will be 16, and then you have 8 times 2, this will be 16. So the factors will be 1 will be 16, will be 2, will be 4, will be 8. So, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. These are the factors. Now, from this list, there are the factors of 8, and from this list, are the factors of 16. What are the common factors? So, say, hey, Dad, here we have one, we have one here. So, this is common. So we can write it here. This is common factors will be, in this case will be 1. Then what? Which is the next common factor? You have 2 here and you have 2 here. So 2. Next, you have 4 here and you have 4 here. So 4. And next, you have 8 here and you have 8 here, right? So this is 8. But 16 is only present in the case of 16. Right? It's not present in the case of 8. So, uh, 16 is not a common factor. So, 1, 2, 4, 8 are the common factors in case of 8 and 16. You can do similarly for, this was only for 2 numbers, you can do for 3 numbers, you can do for 4 numbers. Let's check for 3 numbers. Suppose I, I add one number more, that is, uh, that is, suppose I do here, uh, say, I do only 15, right, if I add, add a number 15. So you have factors of 8, you have factors of 16 here, right, these are the factors of 8, these are the factors of 16. What about 15? So factors of 15, factors of, factors of 15, this will be 1 times 15 is 15, 
and then you have three times five, 15, and then you have five times three, this is 15, and therefore you have one, you have 15, you have three, and you have five as the factors of 15. So if we can, if uh, we write here, it will be one, three, five, and 15. Now, this one, two, four, and eight, these were common factors in case of just when you had just eight and 16. Now you have one more number that is eight, 16, and 15. Now, what are the common factors in this case, right? So you have three numbers. Now, check here. The common factors will have to be common in all these three lists, even this one, right? This one. So you'll find that there's only one, there's only this one here, here, and here that is common and no else number, I mean no other number is common in these lists. So we'll say that in this case at 8, 16 and 15 the common factors, the common factors are just the common factors are only, the common factor is only one. This is the only common factor in case of these three numbers. I hope now the concept of common factor would be clear to you. Thanks for watching.